Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and this is Reggae Boys Commentary. Well, there's been a lot of action of Jamaican internationals and Jamaican players, former under 20, under 23 players, that have been making moves to the USL. In the last 10 years, it has been a difficult transition for Jamaicans from the Red Star Premier League to MLS. So, a bridge that has been used to help these players, you could say, close those gaps, is by starting out in the USL. We've seen one player in particular that has made the transition up and up and up, and that was Corey Burke, the former La River United player, went to the Bethlehem Steel in the USL, and now he's part of the Philadelphia Union franchise. It's unfortunate that things have to be this way, but MLS, they've tightened their policy as it relates to overseas-based players, so that is why it's a bit more difficult as well. I also think as well that the talent that is in MLS as well, they're trying to push more for the homegrown players part of the clubs so you find a lot more American and Canadian players being part of a first team squad so in this video we're going to talk about a player that has been creating huge waves in USL and that player is none other than former Jamaica under 20 player and Harborview player Nico Brett yes that same Nico Brett that scored from 40 yards out in the CONCACAF Under-20 Championship in 2011 in Guatemala. Guatemala, Yes, 40 yards out. If you don't believe me, check it out after this video. It was a brilliant goal. I remember that goal like it was yesterday. You know, just reminiscing about it now. It's just amazing, you know, the strike that he made. It was against Honduras as well. Jamaica eventually went on to lose the game, but I tell you, the strike that he had was simply fun. Fantastic. So what about Nico Brett? He is doing great things in the USL. With the Pittsburgh Riverhounds franchise, they are sitting in the top three in the Eastern Conference and he has scored 11 goals in 22 games. So an average of a goal every other game so far this season in the 2018 edition of the USL. He's in the top three of the Golden Boot race as well. Sounds familiar? We had Dane Kelly on that list in recent years and also Romario Williams. So. Another Jamaican is up there in the race. So, what do you think, Reggae Boys fans? Do you think with the performances that Nico Brett has been putting in, he finally has found a club where he's settled in and he's going to put in a, great, a steady workman-like performance and the goals are backing up, you know? So it's a great sign for him. Would you give him a call-up to the national team? I would say if it's even a training camp prior to the CONCACAF League of Nations where Coach Whitmore and the rest of the technical crew analyzes him in a few training sessions and see how we can mesh together, then that would be a great idea. I wouldn't say throw him in against the Cayman Islands, but I would say to have a look at him in, in a couple of training sessions locally if, that, if that's possible. Because, you know, if there's one thing for sure, a player that is on form, it's, it's hard to stop. It's difficult. When you're under purple patch of form, regardless of the league that you're playing in, even if Nico Bert was playing in the lowest tier, you know, professional league in Europe, like in San Marino or Malta or Liechtenstein or Luxembourg, you know, Lithuania, Latvia, any one of those leagues and he was scoring a goal every other game or even a better goal per game ratio, I still believe that he deserves his opportunity, just like any other player that is on form. You never know. You know, players that bring a different dimension, you know, it helps you to be less predictable. Keeps the opposition on their toes, keeps them guessing. So that's something that perhaps we can employ moving forward. It's going to be difficult, you know, to pick that 23-man squad for the CONCACAF League of Nations in different individuals that will call up. As it stands, it looks like we're going to go with our MLS, USL and RSPL players. So we will wait to see the performances, but we should be able to get four victories from four games you know but we've seen stranger things in football but with the quality that we have you know we should book our ticket to the 2019 CONCACAF Gold Cup so Nico Brett let me know your thoughts in the comments below about him 11 goals 22 games in the USL you know he's getting good support from his fellow Jamaicans as well you know Dennis Chin and Romeo Parks as well you know assisting him with some of the goals as well so he's getting a lovely 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 season at the Pittsburgh River Hounds prolific season clinical quick feet he's getting the goals so let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys commentary